Deep Packet Inspection, or DPI as it's known, has caused much debate since it emerged. Will it be harmful or good for digital society? As with every new technology, it may be both. DPI is a data processing technique that enables us to look at every data packet traveling through the internet. We can peep into the packet headers to see who's sending it to whom. We can identify the type of application and even read the actual content. Depending on how it's used and who is using it, DPI can help maintain the integrity and security of networks or assist with shadier motives like surveillance and censorship. Thanks to DPI, we can scan the traffic content and prevent viruses and spyware from entering or leaving the network. DPI is also effective against cyber attacks. It can be used to intercept unlawful or inappropriate content and to block individual web pages or services providing such content. On the flip side, however, it can capture and record the content of online communications and use it for surveillance and censorship. Governments can install DPI solutions or force telecom operators to install it and make it available and use it against freedom of speech. Internet service providers, ISPs, and telecom operators have a vested interest in installing DPI solutions to manage traffic flow and bandwidth allocation. This prevents congestion and ensures better quality of service. Traffic management can be done by prioritizing various types of applications. Voice over IP or video streams may get higher priority because they require low latency. On the other hand, lower priority could be allocated to peer-to-peer -peer traffic, although that, too, is requiring increasing bandwidth due to the large size of media files. ISPs could also use DPI for market advantage by prioritizing data packages based on content, sender or receiver, thereby introducing tiers. They could slow down or even cut off the competitor's services and do the same with low revenue content. DPI technology allows ISPs to monitor the content of emails, website visits, and music, video, and software downloads. This gives them access to vast amounts of personal information sent over the internet, which they can use to monitor traffic, general user trends, performance of networks and applications, and congestion peaks. This data can be used to plan future investments or to assist content and application providers to upgrade their offers accordingly. They could also use this information for user profiling. They could record online habits of individual users, for example, favorite content, communication patterns, shopping interests, geolocations, and use or sell this information to third parties for targeted advertising or other purposes. Collecting data about users' personal lives raises privacy concerns. While there are initiatives to prohibit its use, if we want to take advantage of the benefits of DPI and other such technologies, there are ways to prevent the abuse. We need to develop and enforce guidelines for their appropriate use.